This is the 2012 SCAC Men's Cross Country Podcast. Today we're joined by SCAC Men's Cross Country Runner of the Week, Sam Martinez, a senior from Southwestern University. Uh, Sam, thanks so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us today. Thanks. Uh, Sam, take us through uh, take us through your individual performance uh, and, and also the team's performance at the uh, the Concordia Texas Southwestern Dual Meet this past weekend. Well, it was a pretty tame meet. It was just us in Concordia, so that's I don't know, 15 runners total, seven on each side. Uh, we weren't running our entire squad, which is a little disappointing because I think had we been doing that, we would have easily beaten Concordia. I mean, we've done it in the past. I think we could easily do it again. Uh, Sam, uh, th- though it was a smaller, though it was only just a dual meet, you were the the wire to wire winner. Take us through the mindset of what that's what that must be like, the the, the focus and, and and skill it must take to to lead a race, uh, even a race of this you know relatively small size. What's it take to lead wire to wire like you did this weekend? Well, I knew that Concordia had one guy that could potentially you know give me a run for my money. Um, so going into that, I wasn't going to think you know this is like a, this is a sure thing nothing certain, especially in running. So I kind of just went after it from the beginning, got a good lead after about two miles, and then just kind of cruised in. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> This is the 2012 SCAC Men's Cross Country Podcast. Today we're joined by Week 4 Men's Cross Country Runner of the Week, Sam Martinez from Southwestern. Uh, Sam, how do you maintain your focus uh, in, in, in a race relative uh, of this size and, and also larger races, you know, up, to, up towards the size of regionals, et cetera? How do you keep your focus in a race? Well, it's actually it's completely different when it's a small, you know, mellow 15-person race as opposed to, you know, 150 people. Um, yeah, keeping focus is very difficult when it's, you know, you're in the front for the entire race, whereas you have people next to you that you know are, you know, excellent runners, and, you know, they could be making moves any second. It's just a completely different mindset. Um, I don't know. Regionals is going to be crazy. Uh, Sam, we're about midway through the regular season portion of the schedule about four weeks ago until the SCAC Championships. What sort of things are you and the team doing to prepare week in, week out, whether it be at a practice and then, or, or be it at competitions over the weekend? What things are you working on and, and looking to tweak perhaps uh, just a couple weeks outside the cross co- or the uh, conference championship meet? Well, we've been doing a lot of longer base type tempo stuff. You know, nothing really too fast, nothing under, you know, about a K for repeat wise. Um, you know, we'll start doing some faster stuff and just getting the fast switch muscles going for, you know, when we want to peak, which will be in a couple weeks, come conference. Uh, Sam, what are some of the goals here as we're just a few weeks out here um, from, from those championships lastly? What, what, what are the main goals for, for you and the team this year? Uh, as a team, I definitely think we can get top three, hopefully third at conference. Um, Colorado College, Trinity are excellent teams. Um, going to be a fight and then individually i just want to do as good as possible you know place as high as possible scac men's cross country runner of the week for week four of this season sam martinez from southwestern university sam thanks again for taking time out of your schedule and best of luck uh, throughout the season for for you and the pirates thanks sir